five-year-old Logan Mendrez is a handful, but in addition to his typical toddler pursuits, Logan suffers from epilepsy. He's got the grand mal seizures, he's got the absence, he's got the myoclonics, the partial complex, he's got a little bit of everything. Epilepsy is when a person has two or more unprovoked seizures. Uh, and a seizure is an abnormal electrical discharge in the brain that produces a physical outcome. Logan is one of 300,000 kids in the U.S. under the age of 15 who has a seizure disorder. Epilepsy occurs when electrical signals in the brain are disrupted. There's shaking and stiffening of the whole body, but seizures can be as simple as staring spells. Problem is, Logan has them all the time. The absence seizures happen 100 times a day, could be. The grandma seizures could be twice a day, could be eight times a day could be three times a week. Never know. For most patients, medications can minimize symptoms, but in 25 to 30 percent of people, drugs don't work. As an alternative, the FDA approved an implantable device for kids called the Vagus Nerve Stimulator, or VNS. It involves a battery with a lead that is placed in the chest, and the lead goes to the vagus nerve in the neck. And what the stimulator does is it turns on and off throughout the day and sends electrical signals to the vagus nerve, which then sends signals to the brainstem. The way they explained it to us was it's a pacemaker for the brain. Little Logan may be the youngest child in southwest Florida to get one. And it was very emotional to even decide to go with the VNS because it is a surgery. VNS has been shown to cut the number of seizures in half in 40 to 50 percent of kids, but rarely eliminates them altogether. My hopes and dreams is that he gets to live a normal life, that he can't live now. Any decrease in seizures means more time Logan can spend being a kid. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.